The intention is to turn heads, but this definitely isn't marketing in the conventional route. A certain American retail chain is hoping to hit the who's who of TIFF right on the bullseye. You've heard of pop-up sales? Well, Target has gotten into the festival spirit with a pop-up hotel. You know, we like the wow factor. We like people to walk away and go, wow, Target's really cool. They've really done something neat and innovative, and that was really one of our goals here. They chose an exclusive venue off the beaten path and didn't spend a penny on advertising. But boy, did it take deep pockets to give the Templar Hotel a complete overhaul. Every nook and cranny decked out in Target's well-known red and white, and only for the first three days of TIFF. And here we have a kitchen, we have a chef available 24 hours a day th throughout the weekend. Uh, we have a bar, obviously, and uh, everything is complimentary, and it's really just about creating a really nice oasis for people to kick back during the festival. There's no doubt TIFF has become a global event, and the guest list here includes a hand-picked selection of celebrities and tastemakers. It's all meant to be sort of ex experimental marketing and that we're sort of living, living in the brand, so to speak. You know, it is some ways away uh, the opening of Target, but um, you know, early bird, it's good stuff. <laughs> they say strike when the iron's hot and there's no better opportunity to get in front of the cameras. Eager to put their products in front of celebrities, swag lounges have gone so far as to hire private chartered jets courtesy of Bombardier. You could have huge impact that far exceeds the investment that you've made. The thing is, you don't know whether that's going to happen. So you can think of it a bit like companies going to a casino and making a gamble by investing some money. Maybe they're going to get maximum impact from it. Maybe they're going to get less impact. But in some sense, all marketing activities are a little bit that way. With so much eye candy around, it's easy for brands to go unnoticed. The point here is to leave a permanent impression by standing apart, way apart from the rest of the pack. Now, companies are aware of who they want to target to. We know, for instance, Super Bowl, it's the number, just as many people as you can at any given time. But um, the marketing expert said it's very interesting for TIFF because you really have the early adopters. These people here are people who love the visual, who want to be the first to see the film, knowing that these films are coming out later on. And these are the people they want to market to because they will be more open to trying these products and talking about these experiences long after they leave these carpets and the theaters. Back to you.